We'll take a quick look at the uh, U.S. military bayonets for the AR-15s or M16s. I'm not a big expert on these, but a uh, recent AR build uh, bought a new bayonet, so I thought I'd just give a quick breakdown. They started out when the AR when the M16s first came out with the M7 bayonet, which is definitely a spear point uh, dagger style and the M8 sheath which is sort of fiberglass and canvas and there's nylon versions of this one as well uh, I'm pretty sure there's a, lar a large variety of these I'm not an expert on them like I say uh, then in the mid 90's they came out with the M9 these are made by quite a few different companies throughout uh, the production years seems like every 300,000 or every 500,000 uh, the military would open up a new contract and a new bidder would come in so there's Land K this one's in Ontario this is the most recent I think and then uh, there's Buck and I think even others and this is I believe this is the new improved sheath uh, they had another sheath with a pocket and stuff here on earlier models uh, this one has the hole in the blade because it rips off the it, Russian AK bayonets uh, by having a wire cutter in here. And I'm assuming it's insulated since this is like a fiberglass type of, well this is like a hard plastic. And this is a hard plastic grip. And the sheath comes off from the belt uh, Alice connector there so that you can get the belt off and use it as a wire cutter. This one's pretty heavy. And then the newest one is the Marine Issue built off the K-Bar. This one's my favorite now. The handle is sort of rubber so it's got a little give to it. Very comfortable. Definitely can use it as a knife in the field. A little bit of serrations. These are all made by the Ontario knife company made in USA and uh, they say the commercial version is exactly the same as the military version and they run just over a hundred bucks uh, the sheath is PALS webbing down the back so you can connect it and once it's strapped on there's this piece of uh, elastic so that the sheath can come up and you have access to the sharpening ceramic there Pretty nice sheath. Definitely a uh, good blade. So that's the three military bayonets that are have been issued or are issued for the AR-15 M16. Take a look at what they look like on the rifle. That's the M7. And there's just a set of levers down here that open the lock. The lug is just under the gas block and front sight base. So the front there comes around the barrel. Locks in. It's on securely. Push these two and it knocks right off. We've got the M9. Same thing. The ring goes over the muzzle there, and the back of the bayonet is exactly the same, pretty much. And then it locks into place there. So that's the M9, and this is the green one. There are both military and commercial versions of the M9. I'm pretty sure this is just a commercial version. I'm not sure if the military were ever issued in green. And then the uh, USMC OKC-3S. And again, the ring goes around the muzzle, locks in in the back, and blade down. Very menacing. Definitely my favorite of the M16 bayonets.
So there are the bayonets for the M16 AR-15. Lots more to know about these. If you're interested, uh, lots of places to do research, books, and websites. As always, thanks for watching. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.